guys good morning yes it's still morning <laughs> um i wanted to go ahead and do a full face today i wasn't sure exactly which palette i wanted to focus on today so i said you know what let me go ahead and grab this cocktail book set collection from beauty crop and use one of these palettes so the one i'm gonna play with is the pina colada palette today which is really really pretty let me go ahead and take this plastic off i can take the plastic off now because i'm about to use it <laughs> so you guys can get a good look so this is what the pina colada looks like so it's safe to say we're going to be doing a colorful look today but I know my face is looking a little bit dry, a little bit ashy, because I said before I get started, I wanted to try out a new mask today. So I washed my face, of course, nice and clean. And I tried out this Revolution Aloe Vera and Water Lily mask. This is what it looks like. Let me show you guys what it looks like on the inside. It's really cool and soothing, and it just feels really good going on. So it's this clear, really soft jelly type um, substance and it felt really really nice I did feel a slight tingle when I put it on nothing irritating nothing crazy or scary or anything like that just a very slight tingle but it has a nice just relaxing scent to it but my face does feel nice and soft and just relaxed <laughs> so in order for me to get my moisture back in my face I'm going to use this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum this morning. I'm gonna use that. I'm also going to use my Chalk Chalk Glowing Moisturizer, y'all. I really like this stuff. I got it in my Beauty Con hauler bag and been using it ever since, okay? And for under my eyes, I have just a tiny, tiny drop of this Belief Eye Moisture Balm, so I'm gonna use the little last bit of that. And for my lips, I'm going in with my OG Bliss Sticks this morning, okay? Is it Bliss Sticks? It's Bliss Sticks. Honey child. <laughs> so, yeah. We're going to get these lips together. Oh. And you guys, I am so, so excited, okay? Because this video is sponsored. Okay, you know your girl. Hello, my first sponsored video. This video is sponsored by my husband because I ain't getting nothing free in PR, okay? <laughs> so, anyway, y'all know I ain't got no sense. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, moisturize my face, get my brows on with my Ellie Girl Slim Shady Eyebrow Pencil, and then we'll move on with this Beauty Crop Palette, okay? guys let's go ahead and jump into this pina colada palette that I got from the beauty crop now when I purchased my whole set I got it on sale for $73.50 and they were having a 30% off sale on top of that so I got my set at a pretty good deal I believe you can use trend mood for 10% off if you're interested or you can buy each palette separately for $24.50 so that's just the specs on this. Now I did prep my lids with some Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And so I'm just gonna jump right in. I'm really, really feeling these like super pretty bright shades. So I think I'm going to, uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna start off with this shade here, which is a sigh. And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and place that on the beginning portion of my lid. Okay, so that's pretty. Now it does look like, since I do have a tacky base instead of a set base, that the color is coming off darker on my lid than what it looks like in the palette. So it does look darker to me. Next, I wanna go into this pretty pink shade, Watermelon. 
just tapping that right next to that first shade. And I'm just softening the edge of that shade just a bit. I really like these two colors together. They're so, so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of depth in my outer corner. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with this purple shade here, which is called Summer. So this purple shade, Summer, in the outer corner. And I'm just blending that out with a little bit of what's left on the brush from the pink. I'm not really worried about my outer corner because I'm gonna clean that up later. And for my inner corner, I wanna go ahead and go into pineapple and check out this yellow shade. So it has some decent pigmentation to it. You can definitely build it up. So I can't decide you guys. So I want to go bold on my lid and put this bright blue on there or do I want to keep it cohesive with the color and use this shimmer here. I think I'm going to keep it cohesive today. Maybe I'll put some blue on my lower lash line, but I'm going to go in with this and I am going to spray my brush. This color is called Sunshine. Hmm. People keep reminding me to try out my silicone applicator since I don't like using my fingers, so I'm gonna try it today. <laughs> Cause this shimmer is very, very densely packed. It's almost, I don't know if it's, it doesn't seem like it's a glitter. It just seems like it's a very densely packed shimmer. So it is crumbling all over the place. And I don't like that. Yeah, I can't tell if it's a glitter or not. But that silicone applicator didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't help out very much. Yeah, it's really acting like more of a very fine glitter, to be honest with you. So I'm definitely gonna have to figure out how to work with this shade because it's like a cross between a glitter and a shimmer. It's really weird. I wanna try a little bit of this mermaid shimmer and see how that performs. Now I'm really curious because yeah, I didn't really like that sunshine shade. Okay, I like that much better. It's much more smooth and easy to work with. Definitely just like a beautiful like multicolored pink and purple shimmer. So I'm just gonna keep that on the outer portion. So now I'm just gonna take a little bit more of that purple and make sure that this corner is blended out nicely. So since I'm already moisturized, I'm gonna go in today with some of my e.l.f. Poreless Primer. I'm going to pair this with my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop today and see how I like it. I don't know if I've ever paired these two together, so we're gonna see what happens. And I'm trying a new color with my Can't Stop Won't Stop. This is the color Cappuccino. color 
it's not bad. I think it is a decent color for me. Y'all, I love this foundation. It's matte, but it doesn't make me feel like it's sucking the life out of me. You know, it just, it doesn't make me feel like the Crip Keeper. I like it. For concealer today, I'm going in with my Juvia's I Am Magic Concealer. And I'm just gonna place that in the areas that I wanna highlight, conceal a little bit. I have the shade number 11. And this stuff has some serious coverage, so I'm gonna try and take it easy. You would think I'd just go ahead and shave, huh? <laughs> I refuse to shave my upper lip. Y'all see how nice and easy that blends out? I love this concealer. It's really nice. So for my highlighted areas, I'm going to go in with some of my Collab Loose Setting Powder. And since I'm not in the mood to play no games, <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my Kiss Professional Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation to set the rest of my face. So I'm also gonna go in with my Hoola Toasted Bronzer. Go ahead and try and hide one of these chins. Just one though, the rest can stay. Okay you guys, so I was holding on to this Colored Rain and Power collab highlighter and blush duo because I was going to use this in the video when I use that power palette but seeing as how I don't know when I'm gonna get to that palette <laughs> we gonna try out this blush and highlighter duo today okay now this one is my day one and this thing looks mad pigmented so I'm gonna have to like take it easy okay Oh yeah, <laughs> we gonna use that one dip for both sides of my face. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty with this eye look, yes. Come through power. Okay, and now for this highlight. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. Ooh, child. Ooh, child. First impression, I like this palette. The blush is nice. The highlight is your popping, okay? Bomb. Okay, LA Girl Neon Shockwave Pencil in the color Vivid. Okay, so going back into the palette, I'm going to take this pink shade up here, which is Watermelon, and use that on the outer portion of my lower lash line. And for the inner portion, I'm going into this pretty coral shade called Asai. And now I'm just taking a brush, like a little fluffy brush with a little bit of my face powder on it. And I'm just going to gently brush right up under my eyes, just 
to get a nice blend so that it's not so harsh up under there. And since I'm not fooling with the shimmers in this palette no more, <laughs> I'm going back into this Power Highlighter and Blush Duo and I'm gonna take the highlighter and just add a pop in my inner corner. Okay, so it's time for mascara. I have two that I pulled out because it's time for me to open up a new mascara. This one is from Grand Mascara. It says Lash Boosting. Um, so let me take a look at this wand. Oh, it's in this really pretty gold packaging. Ow. Okay, let me see what the wand looks like. Okay, so this one is kind of like long, skinny. Hmm. And the mascara looks to be kind of thick, so that might be a good one for me. And I also have this Mad Lash from The Balm. So I know I got both of these in the monthly subscription box. I don't even buy mascara no more, you guys. <laughs> don't even buy it no more. Oh, this is cute. They have this little, you know, drawing on here. Oh, this is one of the like hard plastic ones, the really thin one. Ooh, reminds me of my pixie one and I really like the pixie so you know what I'm mm, I'm gonna go ahead and try out this grand mascara one because I like the thickness of it so I'm gonna see how this one works okay so it's a nice little wand very easy to manage not one of those big giant wands um, even though the mascara seems to be a bit thick, it doesn't feel heavy on my lashes. Like, I feel like I can put a decent amount of coats and my lashes can still look separated, but slowly get volume. So, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. You guys can see the difference here. I'm coming a little closer. not bad nothing miraculous but it looks nice I cannot believe you guys I did a whole eye look and did not even touch this blue okay or this blue <laughs> let me do some swatches right quick okay so y'all saw them swatches I definitely do not think that the swatches do this palette any justice because as you can see the mattes are very nicely pigmented they apply very easily blended together nicely but when I swatched them they felt dry gritty the pigmentation didn't show through my swatches I like the mattes in this palette I don't really care for the shimmers too much it's just a strange formula. It's like, it feels like a mix between a glitter and a shimmer. So it's confusing, it's messy, and it's not easy to work with. So although they might look pretty on my lids, the jury's still out on that, <laughs> but they're not easy to work with. So I like the mattes, but the shimmers, not so much. Let's go ahead and move on to lips. I want to do something with a little color. I've been doing nude a lot lately, but not too much color. So I'm going to take my Ellery Lip Liner Pencil. And I picked up some more of these LA Girl Matte Flat Velvet Lipsticks. I love these lipsticks, you guys. They have so many different colors and they feel so smooth and creamy on the lips. I picked up some of their darker shades from Ulta for fall, but this one is kind of like a light mauve pink. What color is this? And this one is in the color Hush. So it's just kind of a nice soft pink shade. I like it, it's pretty. I just, I like how these go on because they go on nice and smooth, but they are matte. But it's like a soft matte. It's not the kind of matte, like a liquid matte, because these will transfer, they will come off. But they do, they just feel really nice and they have a really nice color selection and they are extremely affordable, okay? 
Now on top of that, because I'm not going for a matte look, although a matte look would look good with these eyes, I'm going to put on some of my Lemonade Lip Gloss from Dominique Cosmetics. Just to add a little bit of shine, not too much. Okay, so that's nice. Nice, comfortable amount of shine, okay? So I think this is a pretty nice combination for this eye look. What do you guys think? I like it, not too much. I know it says spring and it's like the middle of September, but y'all know me, okay? So that's it you guys for this look today. Hopefully you had a good time creating it with me. Um, the <laughs> that palette I don't know I'm gonna have to play with it some more but all the other products I really like the colored rain and power blush and highlighter duo I am way more than pleased okay that duo is bomb the blush the highlight I like it it's so so nice so if you're thinking about getting it I say go ahead and hook yourself up because it's a bomb little blush and highlighter duo. Anyways, that's it you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me to create this look and I will see you on my next video. Toodles!